the Jets. Coach. Well, wasn't it against the Jets that the whole uh, deflate or the um, Spygate? Defla- Spygate. I was like Video Gate. What was it called? Yeah, that was when Mangini was the coach. He was a former coordinator with the Patriots. Mm-hmm. He became the Jets coach. This is right before Rex Ryan, and he let out the secret, which is that's retarded because yeah. you benefited from cheating, right? So you shouldn't have called in. Yes, yeah, that was stupid. Uh, the 49ers have, thank God, waved Jonathan Martin, that big fucking vagina. Ugh, God. What a puss. <laughs> um, the city and county down in San Diego there are uh, getting together and they're trying to keep the Chargers. They've agreed to invest. They don't know how or how much, but they've agreed to invest in a new stadium, possibly. It's yeah. kind of ambiguous. Yeah, they went down their list of professional teams. They're like, well... If the Chargers well, leave, all we've got left are the Padres. Do we want to be the city that only has the Padres? They don't want to have, be the city that has the Padres no matter who else. <laughs> right. They're like, we're trying to get rid of them. We at least need one sports team Please. here. Let's keep the Chargers. Huh? Yeah, we've got no luck now. Uh, the Browns and the the Falcons are receiving penalties after the season. The Falcons is that uh, whole piping in crowd music. Right. And Arthur Blank, which is their, I think that's their owner's name. Sure, why not? <laughs> I think I could be wrong. Uh, he's mad because he's like, look, it's just because Seattle built a stadium where the noise gets right. trapped in. How's that more okay than me putting in fake sounds? I know this is going to be biased because I hate Seattle, but I don't see that being any better. No, as long as the decibel level is the same that the Seahawks have, yep. why should they benefit from building a stadium that's better than everybody else's? Yep. Other than it looks cooler. Like right. that's It should only be an aesthetic. It shouldn't benefit them in game. Right. So I agree. I totally agree. And uh, the Browns penalty is because the owner was texting the assistant coach in the middle of the game. Mm-hmm, like, no, texty, texty. Get that quarterback out of there and put in Johnny Manziel. He's never actually said who he was texting, but that's, that's who they think it was. And that's why Brian Hoyer left the Browns, which doesn't matter. Brian Hoyer sucked, too. Yeah, do yourself a uh, favor and leave the Browns. Look, they're the equal quarterbacks, to be honest. So. They're, they're both shit. And we'll end it on this. Aaron Hernandez's fiance testified on Friday. Mm-hmm. Testify, my brother. Um, and uh, it's not looking good for Aaron. No, she didn't make any eye contact with him. And she forgot most of the the events that night. Right. She did admit that he had her take a box somewhere and hide it. And she he also she dropped him off at the police station for some questioning. And he told her to go give uh, one of the other guys a big chunk of, of money. Yep. Which sounds very good. But she said it was only $500 because that's all she could take out of the ATM. But couldn't remember the amount he told her to give them. Right. Couldn't remember. Right. They had, I forget what they called it. They had to, uh, um, like the, she was granted immunity or whatever, mm-hmm. where if she didn't testify, she'd be put in jail. Contempt of court. Yeah. yeah so uh, they made her get up there. She did not want to do it. No, she didn't. But you have to. If you know something, you have to get up there. You gotta. Um I think the other thing was they asked her if her relationship with her sister is strained, and if you know, her sister was the fiance of oh, Odin Lloyd, of the dude who or died. dating Odin Lloyd, who One of those got killed. Things. Yeah. So why is her relationship strained? Because she's defending a fucking murderer. Yeah. She, and her sister's like, he killed my boyfriend. Yeah. You're my sister. Yeah. Who Hello. Yeah. Think Your sister's fly. with a fucking murderer. What do you think of her? Well, she's not with him now. He's in jail. <laughs> right. Well, I'm sure yeah. she gets conjugals. Yes, she does. Mm. I just hit my tooth with the mic. I want some justice. That's weird. Oh, give me justice. Shoot me so bad. No, not that kind of shoot. When he finishes, it's pew, pew, pew. God, I can only hope so. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> uh, we apologize. This has been a shit show. We're yeah. tired as fuck. The second half was better than the first. Because we talked about wrestling. wrestling. <laughs> uh, but we're going to get the fuck out of here and go to bed because we have to wake up in like three and a half hours. Mm-hmm. That's wildly depressing. Yep. Uh, so thank you guys for listening. Do not forget to, first of all, go watch WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. It's good shit. Uh, and also don't forget to check us out at thecharitystrike.com. You can get us on Facebook, facebook.com slash thecharitystrike. Uh, we're on the old twat box at thecharitystrike, no E at the end, because we were, uh, drunk. Uh, at TCS Rebound, at TCS Drake and Mike. And uh, if you want midlife, he's at TCS Midlife on Twat Box. Mm-hmm. Well. We're on Instagram, The Charity Strike. You can get us 805-419-3679. Eric, please call us. That's right. 
Eric from Mexico. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's everything, right? That is everything. That's all our contacts and all that good shit. So uh, thank you all for putting up with us being tired as fuck. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you next week when we're back live on Monday night, 730 West Coast time. With that, good night, everybody. And no! WWE Heavyweight Champion of the World, Seth Rollins!